So have you ever seen an all electric landscape company in your area servicing a yard? Well, we're not all electric, but today we are going to use some battery powered hand tools to take care of some shrubs. We're going to prune some shrubs, clean out some edges and prune a tree with it. Make sure you hit that subscribe, like, follow, and um, stay tuned. Check it out and don't go anywhere. It's going to be cool. All right, so I just got on site here. I'm going to show you what we're going to do today. Um, we're going to be pruning some shrubs, like I said. And we're going to take care of this tree right here. We're going to shape up this tree. We're going to put a better edge on this flower bed. And we're going to leave the rose bush alone. And we're going to do all these shrubs down the side of the house here. We'll go around the other side here. We got all these other shrubs down the side here. Some more petals on them. So these shrubs are going to look really good when we're done with them here. So yeah, we're going to be using the walkie uh, hedge trimmer. And I might break out the smaller one, the M12, and show the differences and how the touch-up detail is, especially like on the back of the wall here. That's what that smaller one's for. But we'll get there here shortly. So, so before we get started, I'm gonna show you we're gonna be using the M12 head trimmers for the tight spaces behind the shrubs. We have a four amp battery in here. And let's check our power. We're at four bars. All right, and then we're going to be using the head trimmer I have behind me, the Milwaukee head trimmer, the M18. And we're going to be using, I know I sound crazy doing this, but a 12 amp battery. Um, this has got three bars on it right now. And you saw how many shrubs we have here. This is for one yard. We're going to run this for the head trimmer. We're going to run this for the edger. And we'll see how far it gets. Up. So ideally, this what this was designed for is to get behind like tight spaces like this so you don't end up trying to hit the house if you're like extending the big one. See like, I didn't do that. <laughs> that was already there. But, so stuff like that don't happen, but this is what the smaller one's for. So you get behind here like this. I mean, you can get back there with a bigger one, but you know, I, I prefer if I got a smaller one, I can just kind of climb back here and trim off the window and make it safer. See, there's another one right there. Another scratch in the window that I didn't do, but just showing you so you can prevent doing stuff like that. I know I did a review on this one, so you can check that video out in all my videos that I have. Um, but I'm just gonna show you some more of this, what this beast can do. See how smooth that is? See, I can talk while I'm doing this, you know, but then it's better, yeah, I don't even have to breathe the gas, that's what I like about this. So. Now since this shrub is kind of thick and kind of wet, I wouldn't use, typically wouldn't use it on this shrub with that kind of trimmer and get something bigger out because it bogs it down. But typically something like this tight, I mean, this would be ideal because you want to try to give that really definite shape, you know? Because with a bigger one, I mean, like you still shape it with a bigger one, but it just makes it more, you can put your more meticulous detail on the touch for uh, pruning the shrub. So I'm gonna touch it up with this one because it got a little more power. Now we got that side done. We're gonna come back and clean that up with the blower and um, bag it up and stuff like that. We move on around to the other side now, up in the front, and get this one taken care of.
Got the front done. We got the side done here. Let's clean this mess up. Oh, but wait, still gotta do the tree right here. So that's one thing I wanna tell uh, landscapers and uh, for you guys watching, always wanna dirty up everything out here in the yard first. Everything clipped, then clean it up. It's a matter of just, you know, changing out tools and stuff. And it's just too much time wasting. So yeah, let's move on and uh, get this tree pruned up. So the work we've done here so far, it's got three bars. We still got three bars. And we're running this on turtle mode. So that's important too. When you're running this machine, you got to make sure that you know you can put on a higher setting to get a clean, crisper cut, but just like a little bit of maintenance, you can use the turtle mode and get by. So let's move on and get that tree done over there. And make sure we have safety goggles. Now, I know some of you guys are probably gonna hate, but I'm gonna use the Milwaukee Hedge Trimmer to get the smaller ones to see how far we can go. Because we're just gonna shape this tree up so it looks nice and round, not all scraggly, like a nasty, nappy hairdo. <laughs> But yeah, some of you guys are probably gonna hate, but this is how. We got the tree shaped up the best we could do here with it and uh now we can say it's time to clean up let me show you what this battery looks like now we put this on um rabbit mode which means the faster setting on this milwaukee and now it's got how many bars still got three bars so we trimmed the tree pruned all the shrubs and we still haven't edged yet so we're gonna edge Oh yeah, I forgot about it. So we got an edge and then uh, then we clean up. And we're gonna still use that same battery and see where we go with it. Love my steel. about to wrap it up here we got all these leaves that were left over from the shrubs that were pruned and some of the dead leaves that fell from the tree give a shout out to ballard for their amazing product the advanced shoot we're going to use this thing over there to make these leaves disintegrate also want to mention this job the customer wanted us to haul off the debris from everything so usually don't i don't haul off the debris usually leave it on the side but that's you know an extra service you can offer to someone but uh also got to remember that when you're hauling off debris is extra charges because when you go dump it to dump i know around here it's like 40 bucks for uh one axle trailer i can't remember the rest but yeah it's usually like a 40 dollar charge just to dump the debris 
and then you gotta charge your time to dump it so i always gotta tell people that as well if you want it by the road or if you want me to haul it off for you so keep that in mind as well all right got everything blown out everything cleaned up also want to say um this milwaukee battery did pretty good for us today i edged with it did a little weed eating i didn't record so much of that and it has looks like it has two bars but i took it up yep two bars i took it up to rabbit mode when i was trimming that tree and kind of touching up on the edge over here in the flower bed that stick edge was kind of hard to do it with that border there so um yeah and most these leaves here that's a great tool i love it advanced shoot and um so yeah there's all the shrubs done if i hadn't said it before make sure you subscribe make sure you like follow follow us on all follow us on all social media instagram tiktok facebook but i'm more focused on instagram and youtube and tiktok but youtube is my pretty much go-to with all of my social media so anyways oh check out this edge before we go so the edge is nice and crisp all the way down got it cleaned out shrubs look good well make sure you check out the next video make sure you stay updated there's gonna be a lot of content coming this year so take care see you soon God bless you.